<laughs> hey friends uh wizarding and non-wizarding friends so no matches too can be included um, <laughs> <laughs> um so today's video we got some potions in she got some potions in i'm still waiting on mine i say we as in we're sisters were a team. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I know, but I can't physically have them in my personal space. Right. So we keep talking up Advanced Potions UK, uh, the website that we've talked about in probably, probably I'm like hunching. I know, probably I just realized. Like almost all of our videos, but um, yeah, I got uh, four in. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, one did come in broken. I should have had five, but I reached out to them and I said, Hey, this one came in broken and they were like cool we're gonna replace it um that specific one was out of stock because they um, only make a certain number yeah of so each one. they said that i could pick the same price range any other potion or get refunded and since i bought all those other potions already i was like i guess i'll take the refund for when a new potion comes in yeah <laughs> like a new one's on sale um but they're doing a lot of cool stuff so like i told you guys i joined their patreon and we've been getting messages so um there's exclusive <clears throat> potions only for the patreons so we just got the option to buy the butterbeer replica and the antidote to butterbeer replica because oh, I haven't even seen those yet. yeah i sent you a picture of them and you were like i can't buy them and I was like, yeah I that's why i didn't look because i can't look oh. and buy <laughs> yeah so if you remember in the books winky who is bartimius crouch um senior and junior's house elf she gets in trouble in the books. They think that she used the magic to conjure the dark mark, but it was actually Bartinius Crouch Jr. under the invisibility cloak. So she gets fired. So Dumbledore hires her in the kitchens of Hogwarts, and she's such a wreck about being fired that all she does is drink butterbeer and get wasted. Oh, so, yeah, <laughs> so Dobby finds the room of requirement, and because she's so drunk and he's trying to help her, the room of requirement is set up as a place where it's got a perfect size house elf bed with the antidote for butterbeer to sober her up and, oh. like, make her better. Yep. So they made the, a little antidote in that oh, one. So I, I ordered that. I had to. That's cute. Um, we also got notifications that they're doing candles now. Oh, I saw that. Um, yeah. So, was it the Sorcerer's Stone candle? The red yeah, candle? The, the Philosopher's oh, Stone. Yeah, yeah the Sorcerer's really Stone. Cool. Um, so it's a red candle. They said it was, um, like, an apple mm -hmm. scent. They said that there's glitter on top, and they're putting either in the bottom of the candle so you burn it, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a surprise inside. They said um, it's either a red sorcerer's stone inside of the candle that you can have, or if there's a lump of gold in there, because the sorcerer's stone can turn base metals into gold. That's part of its magic. Um, they said if there's a gold chunk in there, you win some sort of special prize. Oh, my God. Yeah. So those are some really cool things coming from them. Um, they don't pay me to talk such highly, like, talk highly about them mm -hmm. um i'm just obsessed with them and i'm like really addicted to their stuff now it's actually a problem i think i need an intervention hmm. um but yeah so we also have another thing that's not harry potter related that we're going to show you at the end that we got so these potions came in um in separate boxes obviously because they were bubble wrapped to try to like ship the best way they had the little um squiggly paper uh squiggles in there um and, and peanuts packing peanuts sorry um, so that they could be shipped from the UK. Um, so surprisingly out of five, only one was broken. I'm really like, I'm really happy about that because you guys know shipping is a pain. Um, and it's really not the company's fault if things end up getting there broken because especially coming all the way from the UK, that's like crazy shipping. You yeah. know how many times that box has been like thrown around and moved. Um, so I did already open the boxes because I wanted to check them out, make sure they weren't broken. Um, but so they did come in separate boxes, but I brought I brought them all in one of the boxes they came in um, so you guys could see it. So it's just a plain um, brown box, but they had the tape that said advanced potions on it um, with a little cauldron. Let me bring that up closer so you can see it. It's really cute tape. So I'm going to open these and show you guys the ones that I got. I got four. One of them is a classic size potion. So those ones are a little cheaper and smaller. Um, and three of them are the premium potions. And the premium potions are the one that they only make 200 of them. And once those are gone, they're gone. Mm -hmm. Like they're the big full size, really nice ones. So I've been trying to like buy those as much as I can, even though they're a lot more expensive. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. So um, I'm going to open this guy up and pull them out for you. Um, Samantha hasn't seen these up close yet. We were waiting yeah. to do this video so she could see them. Because I ordered a couple of these, <clears throat> these yeah. same ones. Um, but when it came in, uh, it did come in 
the Hagrid's trunk. You see, they reuse the boxes. Oh, okay. So because they used to be Hagrid's trunk, they're just trying to use up the boxes. So I thought that was awesome because I never got to get a Hagrid's trunk because they stopped doing it right so when I wanted to So what if they turn the box inside out yeah. and fold it? That's yeah. That's pretty cool. So that was a smart idea so they wouldn't be wasting all yeah. of them. But then it made me really happy. I was like, I got a Hagrid's trunk because yeah. I didn't get to get one because I ordered yeah. the last one that, and then they decided that they were stopping them and just focusing on this and turned yeah. into advanced potions. So <laughs> I'm going to start with the classic because it's the small, small one. one. Um, so this is the classic that I got. Oh I'll let God. you hold it. It's a mandrake restorative drought. Oh my God. There's a little mandrake on it. <laughs> oh my God. And I'll close this so she doesn't see All these little them. leaves. This is really pretty. And twine. Uh, I don't know if I can get this all like nice and close up, but there's these yeah, cute I'll little. Yeah, I'll take separate B-roll. Okay. Cute yeah. little leaves. This nice wax print with a tree on it or some leaves. And there's a little baby mandrake on the side and inside it looks like seaweed and sticks and yeah what do they call so yeah i saw cool. the sticks but the seaweed they call it something what's it called it looks like mossish right but it's got a certain know. name i feel like it starts with an l no clue okay <laughs> but yeah, the I'll, label is really nice i'll put it on the video if and I the top look it up later. wax is really nice um but there's also a little bead here that's a little leaf that, on the yeah. twine that's so cute yeah it is really cute so that's the classic size um, so the next one I want to show you guys, I have, these ones are the premium potions. That one's really pretty. I ordered this one. Okay. I ordered, I'm not sure if I ordered this one or the bigger one of this one. Yeah. All right. Just be careful, be careful with the wax yeah. here. So, um, this one is the Peruvian darkness powder. This is pretty. It's a really cool shape bottle. Yeah. The bottle itself is very cool shape. They have a cute little wax seal on some black, like, um, almost leather twine-ish soft um, this cute beaded circle. It also has a, a sticker label on top. Yeah, and the side, and which is cool. And the side label. And inside, it's red, sparkle, and black. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty stuff inside. Um, and, so yeah, cool. and then the top wax seal, it says made in Peru. So that was really cool. I like yeah. that a lot. Because um, they use that when they go into the Ministry of Magic, when they take the Polyjuice Potion, and they go in to try to find the necklace, he throws it in there to make everybody distracted so he can oh, get into Umbridge's that's office. that's the one. That's yeah. the potion. That's that. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I thought the shape of this bottle was so cool. It's the first one I put. Actually, the love spell, the one that broke in her box. Yeah. That's the first one I put in my cart. That was the second one I put in my cart. Yeah, because I was like, that's a really cool I shape. really hope my love potion comes in not broken because now you can't get <laughs> right. it. Right. Yeah, so at least we'll have one we'll and then we can one. show them. Mm -hmm. All right, um, so the next one I want to show you guys was the first one that I put in my cart um, besides the flu powder. That was the very first one I got, and it was still Hagrid's trunk at that point. Um, but this one I thought was so fun, um, so I'll let you hold it. It's Gillyweed. The label is really cool. The giant wax print on the hemp is really cool. There's rocks in it. It also looks like you would think of the word gillyweed the stuff in there looks like it would be that yeah and you um, know what i, I noticed is that cool. so gillyweed in the books it's described as um almost like grayish colored rat tails or like a grayish green rat tail mm -hmm. and every replica i've seen they've always used this like mossy stuff yeah which they be. use in fish tanks i feel things. like when he ate it in the movie it was like it looks like dark green stuff yeah, it? and they made it look more like wormy, almost rat taily in the movie, I feel like. Yeah. And he's shoving it of, in his mouth. Yeah. But like all the replicas, I like I see things, you know, it's like the mossy stuff, mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, cool, yeah, that would be some sort of a weed in the water that you could eat. It's weird that they put rocks in it, because that doesn't make me think of gillyweed. But Right, but I think they try to do it to make it like, oh, you scoop some of the dirt and sand and rocks while you grab mm -hmm. the gillyweed to right. put it in. Yeah. That's so I think that was where they were going with. Um they Still also looks very cool. I watched them make this one and they also also really do take a lighter and burn their things oh, before cool. they put them on. It's really cool. Um, and then the last one that came in was also the premium. Um, and I love the color of it because yeah, I'm pretty. drawn to like blues and stuff. So um, that's why I got this one. So this is the Wolfsbane potion. That's pretty. The liquid in it must be thick, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they use clear blue and they color it. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, you can really tell that it's a fake plant in there. Yeah. Like those you can't. Those look like really legit and real. This one you can tell that it's a plastic flower. Yeah. But it's really pretty colored. 
Um, I thought the whole screen had a little chunk of fur. Is that the smaller version? Might be the smaller okay. one. Um, I like the cute little wax as a, a wolf on it. And the label is really pretty. And then the wax seal you know, has a little wolf. The color yeah. is really pretty. <laughs> to the side, nice little flower. It could be a hand model. Did you just see that? You have the tiniest hands. <laughs> That's a nice little hand model move <laughs> right there. But like, this. what would you model? You can't fit things in your little hands. <laughs> Authenticate. Yeah, a certificate um, of authentication. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Authentication, authenticity. <laughs> you know, that sounded right to me though. Authentication. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our next little fun thing that we have, I opened fine. She didn't open hers. Yeah, I figured I'd show you guys our what Our brother it looks like. got us baby Yodas for Christmas, and our mom just sent them to us in the mail. Baby Yoda! Yeah. Listen! Oh. Ah. We make little baby Yoda sounds. <laughs> He's cute. Yeah. Um. So we do call him Baby Yoda for those He's of you that child. are like, "He's the child. Yoda died. It's not really Yoda." <laughs> and I'm like, "We know, but it's so precious." And Yoda was one of my favorites in yeah. Star Wars. Like we're super Star Wars people. Like we started playing Animal Crossing and we named our island after Star Wars locations. Yeah. Like. <laughs> we love Star Wars. Um. So yes, I'm gonna call him Baby Yoda because I have a theory. Right. My theory is, is that Yoda is some sort of like a phoenix and he could be born again. And I think that, that it is true. Yoda. Yeah. That's just my theory. I'm calling him baby Yoda so you can kiss my ass. And guys. if he's not baby Yoda reincarnated or Yoda reincarnated, yeah. then he could be a bloodline of baby, of, I keep saying baby Yoda. Yeah, baby Yoda. He could <laughs> be a bloodline of Yoda. Like, but yeah, I'm calling so him baby powerful. Yoda. Like this little baby Yoda does some crazy stuff in the Mandalorian. Yeah. So he's so cute. He comes uh, we with, love the Mandalorian. He comes with his little coffee cup but you can't really actually hold these things he just comes with them yeah it's so adorable i'm gonna throw up <laughs> like you, you when you're watching the mandalorian and you see the baby yoda you like your I'm, heart melts yeah it's i'm like so sick crazy. to my stomach i yeah. was like save that baby there was yoda things that happened in the show and i'm like i i was it's intense and i can't explain yeah the whenever that it I got hurt i was yeah. like someone help it like, like I, I cried like, like i would i would have been a mom lifting a car off a child to save baby yoda the mandalorian became one of my all-time favorite Star Wars characters because of the way he fathers and loves this little baby yeah. Yoda that he finds yeah. like yeah there's some good characters in the Mandalorian yeah it was really I thought Disney did a really good job with that I did too. but like so I'm gonna have to say this and I'm probably gonna have people that are like keyboard warriors yelling at me on the internet I'm not the Star Wars fan that's like this movie sucked this trilogy sucked I didn't like that this character was stupid. I love it all. Yeah, I love it all too. And you really just yeah. have to understand like the originals and see where everything like lined up and like Yeah, there's crazy timelines you can yeah. look up and stuff. Um, but that's the thing is I'm the type of person where somebody expresses art in their own way. I don't sit there and constantly critique, critique it. it. Yeah. Like I'll be like, oh yeah, that sucked. I didn't want that to happen. But like, and then I'm like, overall, this was great. Right. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a movie or a TV show where I was like, this was stupid. I hated it. Yeah. Like, that's not my attitude. I just think that art is like a super expression that like other people do. And I appreciate for whatever they make. So I'm not one of those Star Wars fans that's constantly like, well, um, the last trilogy was stupid and only the original is good. Like, no, I love them all. Yeah. The Baby only one Yoda. I have, the only Star Baby Wars, Yoda. the only Star Wars, like actual movie film that I have not seen is Solo. That's oh, the only you need one to. I haven't seen. Because people complained about that one too. And I love I it. I know. And the trailer <laughs> for it didn't drive me to watch it, but I know I need to watch it. Yeah, I just haven't totally because, have to. um, What's her name is in it, and I love her. The one who plays Khaleesi. Emily so, Clark. Emily oh, Clark. Sorry, Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark. Yeah, I do love her. She's a good yeah. actress. Um, and uh, Woody Harrelson's in it. And yeah, I, and I, I love, love Woody, Woody Harrelson. Harrelson so. <laughs> and then the kid that was in um, Beautiful Creatures, he plays so uh, Han Solo in it. Oh, that's who he that. Yeah. You know what? Beautiful Creatures was so good. Yeah, I, I wanted them it. to keep going with those. Yeah, it's the books are so different, though. You really want to read the books. Yeah, I didn't read them all. I read the first book. Yeah, we get like really fangirl about things that we get yeah. into. Uh, it's a problem. So Baby Yoda is the most precious baby angel. Yeah. Um, and we will <laughs> call it Baby Yoda. So deal. Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll put Baby Yoda aside. All right. So that's all we had for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, we are the Half Blood Hufflepuff Sisters. Yeah. So make sure you guys like um, and subscribe uh, to the video and share it if you can. That would be awesome. Um, we want to get it out there because 
we just love nerdy things and we want to share them with you. Um, we're also thinking that maybe we'll do some video game streaming because I heard that there's a Harry Potter RPG game coming out for like consoles and PC. That'd be cool, <sighs> Harry Potter. But it's not Harry Potter. It's like after Harry Potter, right. so it's not going to have Harry Potter in the name I heard. My buddy James told me that. And I was like, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> no, it was James Morrison. Not oh, okay. I think it would be James Barber. <laughs> yeah. um, but if that's real life, I'm never going to leave my house ever again because I'm just going to be playing that game. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and keep on watching because I'm pretty sure coming up soon we might do some giveaways. Ooh, yeah. Cool. All right. Peace out, guys. Bye. Bye.